Hi, my name is Marte Vanek. Um, right now I'm working on contract as a photojournalist at the Toronto Star. I graduated from Ryerson in 2012 from the journalism program. Um, and then after that I went to Loyalist College for photojournalism. Yeah, so I wanted to start off with this story. It's uh, a story about uh, Lex and Mary. Uh, I did it when I was still at Loyalist. So I wanted to look at what it takes uh, for to be a caregiver for someone who's aging and instead of putting that loved one into a retirement home, what it takes to care for that person at home. So Mary was diagnosed with dementia in 2008. Um, and so Lex, her husband, and this is actually their second marriage, um, has been caring for her ever since at home because he just feels he can give her the best care and um, can't imagine putting her in a home. It was something that a lot of Canadians are going to be facing or are facing but don't really talk about because it it's kind of seen as just something you do um, but it puts an enormous stress on you so the more you talk about it the better and so it took me about a month to find you know the right family. Um, so it was the Missouri Photo Workshop, which every year they go into a different town in Missouri um, and they bring like 40 documentary photographers and you have to find a story, pitch a story, work on a story and present the story to the town within a week. Luca, he had lost his older brother Cody to a drunk driving accident. Um, uh, Cody wasn't the one that was drunk, it was the driver. And so this was kind of a story about how this family was helping Luca get over that loss because he took it the hardest. Um, and then in October, I went to Ukraine to work on a film in Eastern Ukraine for a charity, for a Canadian Ukrainian charity. And then I decided I wanted to stay an extra week. You know, I'm from, my roots are from Ukraine, like I'm born here, um, but my family's Ukrainian. and. Ukraine was always a place I felt I wanted to go back to and so I decided I'm going to stay an extra week and just try to get a better understanding of the place and then come back for a longer term. And so then I was there in Kyiv and the pro-European protests were starting and so I just started photographing that and then it just started getting bigger and bigger and the story started getting bigger and um, I just realized I couldn't leave. So I was supposed to only stay a week and I stayed three months. <laughs> And this is like one of the buildings protesters had taken over to where they like slept and where they ate and where they like washed. And so it was just a, like a Sunday service in a stairwell, you know, and it was so beautiful. And this is just like from a daily assignment, just trying to find a different view of a situation that's been covered so many times. This is just from a Raptors game. Um, someone's popcorn went flying <laughs> and it just made a neat picture. And then this is also just daily assignment. I had, I guess it was like a two o'clock assignment and I went early to it. And this was like a really hot day and there was no one in the park. And I was like, how am I gonna find someone? And then you just start walking and looking and looking and then you see your like uh, this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just about like perseverance and just knowing that those moments will eventually come. I think a lot of it is that we're more similar than we are different and we all have those same feelings and um, yeah I think the biggest thing is just work hard and um, just do a lot of work because you have to do a lot of work to really get good at something so if you have a passion for it just do it <laughs> and find a way and and keep working hard and yeah. <laughs>